So how does Sokotoa help us? Let's first label the sides of our right triangle here. And Sokotoa is useful whenever we're working with an angle of a right triangle that's not the 90 degree angle. So it's either going to be this angle down here in this corner or this angle up at the top here. But let's just focus on this angle down here and call it theta. Now that we're looking at one of our angles, this one down here, we can label our sides according to this angle. The side that is opposite from the right angle, or if we draw a line from our right angle out like this, we call the hypotenuse. It's the longest of the three sides. Next, we can say our adjacent side is the side that's touching our th angle theta that's not the hypotenuse. So our adjacent side would be this side down here. And then our only unlabeled side, we would call our opposite side. And we can think of it as the side that is opposite of our angle theta. It's not touching theta. It's directly kind of on the opposite side of the triangle. And so Sokotoa helps relate sine, cosine, and tangent to these sides that we just labeled on our triangle. In other words, sine of angle theta is going to be equal to the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse. The O in so tells us opposite and the H in so tells us the hypotenuse. Similarly, cosine of theta is going to be the adjacent length over the hypotenuse length and then tangent of theta is going to be the opposite length over the adjacent length. And so really Sokotoa just is a way to remember all of these relationships in one single term.